This course covers statistical process control from entirely practical approaches. It takes you from the concept of a process and a system to control charts to process capability analysis and finally to the Six Sigma applications in business and manufacturing. The speaker and author of this course is one of the top statisticians and quality control experts particularly in the fields of textiles, cotton processing, non-woven, spinning, weaving, knitting, and apparel industries. Dr. Yahya El Ghazi was a professor of statistics, statistical process control, and quality control for 25 years at Auburn University, Alabama, USA before he led his own consultant company in 2013. This is only a very brief review of the course which expands over 50 hours. The uh, most critical phase, the most critical phase of any business or product is the declining phase. Uh, two of the key questions associated with this phase is what are the causes of business decline? And can a business decline be avoided? Well, any business, any product will eventually decline. Uh, in other words, decline as a phase is, is, is almost inevitable. And uh, that inevitability uh, is more realized uh, uh, today than ever. Uh, in the good old days, we used to see a product that will not reach, it, it's like a mortal product, will last forever, okay? Uh, but today, uh, things, as I always say, become obsolete before they depreciate and the obsolation happens at a very fast rate because of the introduction of new products and the wild, uh, tough, competitive nature of today's market. These two questions here are very interrelated. What are the causes of business decline? Can a business decline be avoided? Okay, uh, typically if you know the causes of a business decline or product decline, then perhaps you can develop or find ways to prolong or even avoid the decline altogether. Six primary factors can influence market decline. And these are all common sense. The first one, of course, is product surface and uh, obsoleteness. So if the product becomes uh, obsolete or the surface becomes obsolete, then uh, the product uh, decline phase will, will be inevitable. Okay, we've seen this in many uh, products over, uh, over, uh, over the years. Uh, changes in consumer behavior. Sometimes there's the consumer, uh, you know, consumers with so many options they have today, uh, consumers 
uh, as fast, as excited as they get, okay, uh, uh, they also very fast in losing interest, okay. So uh, you will see some very hot products uh, uh, over a very short period of time, and then they quickly uh, decline simply because consumer behavior uh, uh, also change very quickly. Uh, competitive pressure, other competitors, and what they are introducing to the market. The extent of transition from a commodity market to quality differential market. That's a very important issue that we will discuss in a few minutes. Uh, quality erosion. Uh, you could have a product that uh, uh, for one reason or another uh, its quality ero is, uh, is eroding and as a result of that consumer will not be uh, 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 getting, will not be interested in it. Uh, quality confusion. Talk about that very shortly. Uh, chance factors. All of these are factors that can cause the decline of the product. Uh, product surface obsoleteness. Uh, before the, the airplane, people traveled by sea, right? Uh, before the car, people used horses or camels. Uh, before the, uh, the copier people, uh, the, the copy machine, uh, people used carbon papers. We all know about all of that. And before the fax machine, people used the telegraph. So as we enter the 21st century, uh, we, the world is, is, uh, is witnessing uh, perhaps the, what I call the onset of the greatest massive uh, decline of many products and services as a result of the computer revolution. Uh, uh, one cannot imagine what the computer revolution did. In a hundred years from today, people will look back at the mid-80s or the 80s and the 90s uh, and consider these years as the, a major turning uh, point uh, in the world global uh, 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 surface and the product and the market as a result of the computer revolution. The classic forms of services such as uh, tourism or tourist information, uh, employment agency, uh, people that you go to to help you finding another, uh, another job, uh, travel agency, people that you go to to help you cut an, an airline uh, uh, tickets, uh, uh, advertising, uh, trade uh, agents, uh, newspaper, uh, televisions, radio, uh, uh, how long all of these will last? Uh, in my opinion, all of these are in the declining stage. Okay, uh, a TV, as we uh, traditionally came to know, it's already a part of your computer. Uh, 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 newspaper, uh, uh, travel agency. Now one can go to Priceline.com or CheapTicket.com and get the cheapest ticket at any point of time. So uh, products and services are likely to become obsolete. And if you are enjoying a business today uh, of this type, then you're going to have to think about the future and you're going to have to have a vision for the future. As long as there are alternatives, there will be obsolete. This is just an inevitable thing. Consumer behavior is a long story, and I'm going to cut it short. We have discussed that many, many times. Uh, uh, but we mentioned a very important point early on, that uh, uh, in dealing with consumer behavior, any organization ought to be proactive, meaning try to, to drive the consumer behavior rather than being reactive to consumer behavior. That's not always possible, but that's the best approach, is to be uh, on the offense, not the defense, to be proactive, not reactive. Meaning, uh, as much as you listen to the consumer, advise the consumer, and introduce things that will excite the consumer. That requires heavy advertising, by the way. Uh, competitive pressure, we mentioned, it's a very important uh, 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 issue. Uh, 
market extension is the invasion of new market segments. And it's something that any organization has to think about all the time. Is how can we seek no, new channels or new market segments? That is what we mean by market uh, uh, extension. Uh, uh, give you an example in the textile business, the traditional textiles and the commodity issue, uh, polyester fibers and this and that, uh, are now used in, in other market segments. So not, not, not m market extension uh, or market substitution are not only an issue of invading new market uh, uh, locations, but also invading new areas. So that same polyester that is used today to make uh, a shirt uh, or uh, a pants or a sweater uh, can be used in, in other non-classic, non-traditional area, such as a composite material of an aircraft, okay? Or perhaps some heart, uh, artificial heart uh, or artificial human organs. These are happening as we speak. That products that have been classically or traditionally used uh, in some market segments are, not, are now moving to other uh, market uh, segments for the sake of market expansion. The extent of transition from a commodity market to quality differential market, the transition from a commodity market to quality differential market is a key factor in preventing uh, market uh, decline. Uh, a market that uh, refuses to, uh, to be a commodity market is a market that refuses to die because commodity uh, uh, in many aspects uh, can be the, the quickest way uh, for product decline. Uh, Theodore uh, uh, Levitt uh, of Harvard uh, Business said, if you think of your product or service offering as a commodity, that is what it will be, a commodity. So we need to keep that in mind. Uh, speaking of commodity, let me just give you some, some case studies. The best case study that I have for you in, 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 in the issue of extent of translation from commodity or a commodity market to quality differential uh, market is the chicken man, uh, Mr. Frank uh, Bourdieu himself. Uh, he took over the chicken business from his father. He said that I turned my father's uh, tiny egg farm into uh, a poultry powerhouse and became the face of an industry. Uh, uh, Frank Perdue's first emphasis was quality. So he, he, he did a lot of work on quality. He did not want to treat chicken as a price differential. Uh, obviously chicken being a classic or traditional commodity, the, the, the prime differentiation was based on price. And the cheaper the better. So Frank Perdue comes and they change the entire industry all around. Some of the things he did in emphasizing non-price attributes, uh, 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 he Customer preferred chicken to be to be plump, yellow, and the meter it has more horm, more meat. So he figured uh, changing the the breeding, careful uh, breeding and uh, and uh, appropriate use of uh, of feed activities. Uh, he was able to satisfy that type of demands. Uh, uh, plump, yellow, and the meter uh, chicken. Uh, then he went ahead and they purchased a turbine engine uh, to blow dry all the chicken before they go to the torch uh, so that those feather, chicken feathers 
will not fly into the torch and not cook, be cooked with the chicken. Uh, a neat way of cleaning the environment so that uh, uh, something as annoying as the chicken feathers is totally removed. Uh, this obviously prevented wet uh, 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 pine uh, or pin feathers from slipping past the, the torching process that's supposed to bring them off. Uh, all of these are quality differential activities, uh, making the, the chicken uh, more plump, meaty, more yellow, uh, 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 the cleaning aspect. All of these on the our superior triangle are activities or tasks associated with quality. But then the market was used to chicken being a commodity. So price became an issue. And it's still an issue. So as we give you examples before about the Schlitz beer, uh, Frank Bordeaux has to advertise himself as well. So he moved now after he took care of the, of the quality, uh, relative quality, uh, uh, dimension of the superiority triangle, he went to the image where he advertised in many different ways. One of his statements, it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken. Buy Purdue chickens, you can get an extra bite in every breast. Talking about plump and the more meaty chicken. You see, an, just an excellent way to combine that quality dimension with the advertising dimension as we mentioned before you must make your consumer and your customer aware of your quality okay derive the consumer we repeatedly emphasize this issue these actions have truly improved the perceived quality of Purdue chickens with business promotion and advertising slogans such as it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken buy Purdue chickens, you can get an extra bite in every uh, 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 breast. Uh, Frank Purdue has turned a chicken, the chicken product from a commodity product to quality image differential uh, product. This course covers statistical process control from entirely practical approaches. It takes you from the concept of a process and a system to control charts to process capability analysis and finally to the Six Sigma applications in business and manufacturing. The speaker and author of this course is one of the top statisticians and quality control experts.